Do you know about the brothers who escaped prison just by using a raincoat? How would they do that with just a jacket? So John Anglin and Clarence Anglin were brothers and they went to prison for robbing a bank because they were trying to provide for their family. And unfortunately, they fell into crime. So the prison they were in was the most secure prison in the whole world and it was called Alcatraz. And Alcatraz was a max security prison located in San Francisco. So there was no chance of escaping. And if you manage to escape, you're stuck because you're on an island. So you're gonna tell me they escaped Alcatraz with a jacket. So all the prisoners were given daily jobs to perform in the prison. So for John and Clarence, they decided to work in maintenance because that would allow them to like to learn the ins and outs of the prison and perfect their way of escaping. So for weeks, they started to try to gather supplies to escape. And during the day when they were working in maintenance, they were actually designing tools that would help them escape. And the guards just thought they were just working on like what their job was supposed to do. John and Clarence would actually go to the cafeteria and steal spoons and they would turn the spoons into like little knives. And during lunch, when it was really loud, when like all the prisoners were out eating and hanging out, John and Clarence were in their cell using their spoons to poke a hole where their vent is to make a hole to escape. And once they finished making their hole, they covered up the hole with all their belongings so no one would see it. Nice, they're escaping to be stuck on an island. Just wait, so the next day John and Clarence went to the maintenance building to do their work, right? But this time they made fake dummy heads. They made it out of like hand soap and concrete and they molded it and they got real hair from the prison barber and they put it on the fake dummy. They made fake heads? Yeah, so that night they put their fake dummy heads in their bed to make it look like they were sleeping and when the guards weren't looking, they crawled through their holes and escaped. They then climbed a 30 foot pole to get to the ceiling where that one unsecured vent was and they climbed right out. So what are they going to do now? They're stuck. So you see days before John and Clarence escaped prison, they stole a bunch of raincoats from the prison. Like literal raincoats that you wear. I don't see how that helps. They ended up stealing 50 raincoats and they sewed them all together. Right? And then there was a leaking pipe that was shooting out steam and they used that to inflate it and it ended up being a life raft for them. So they made a literal boat out of raincoats. Yeah, so they used the life raft to get away, but there was one huge problem, right? The water was super cold, like freezing cold. The waves were really rough and they were also miles away from the mainland. Yeah, I really don't see how they get out of that. So the next day, the prison guards went to John's cell and they noticed like John wasn't waking up. So they open up the cell, right? And they try to wake up John and they shake his body. But when they shake his body, the fake head falls on the ground and breaks. So immediately all the guards shut down the prison. They informed the Coast Guards and the FBI to go search for the brothers, but they never found the brothers. So did they make it? Well, all the FBI and all the Coast Guard thought they died, but there's actual evidence that may prove that they lived and lived a happy life. What? So Robert Anglin is the older brother to John and Clarence. And on his deathbed, he said that he was communicating with his brothers after they escaped prison, showing that they escaped. And every year after they escaped, they would send their mom flowers, right? And their mom would receive it and like they would have a card on it. And it was signed by John and Clarence. Even family members noticed that at all the family get togethers or at funerals, there were these two ladies that would wear veils on their face, covering their face. And they realized that it was actually John and Clarence in disguise. Dude, these guys are geniuses. So 13 years after they escaped the prison, one of their childhood friends actually found John and Clarence in Brazil and took a picture of them. Dude, nobody's supposed to be able to escape Alcatraz. 